Let's go into my house. Come on. You can see I got the Beamer parked out front. And the Tesla's just around the corner. But yeah, there's my car. There's my brother's car there. Welcome home. JoJo Seal may only be 16 years old at the moment, but she's accomplished much more than your average kid, and she just moved into a new mega mansion in California. JoJo Zoo multi-million dollar mansion even has its own 7-Eleven and merch store. We'll show you all of that in just a bit. As I'm sure you all know, JoJo Siwa is a dancer, singer, actress, and famous YouTuber. She appeared on two seasons of Dance Moms alongside her mother, Jessa Lynn, but made most of her fans after that. JoJo has 8.9 million followers on Instagram at the moment and a ton of loyal fans she calls Siwanators. Jojo came a long way from being a small town girl living in Omaha, Nebraska to a young celebrity in Hollywood. She's built her own successful brand between her music career, her YouTube vlogs, her merchandise and more. Jojo's estimated net worth is around 10 million, not bad for someone who isn't even an adult yet. Although Jojo's given house tours all over her YouTube channel, it's Jojo Siwa, the actual information of her home hasn't been released like the address or how much she paid, which is probably a good thing. I assume her parents and staff work hard to guard that information for privacy reasons, considering Jojo's still just a kid. However, we do know all the crazy new features of her LA mega mansion and what Jojo's dream house looks like. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna look at where Jojo Siwa calls home and all the details of her new massive LA mansion, as well as where she used to live. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Taylor Swift and Jeffree Star's new mansion, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Like I said, Jojo's from Nebraska and she even showed her first family home way back in 2015 where she gave a room tour on her channel. She was still just a little kid then, probably like 12, so that explains all the stickers on her door. That's clearly where Jojo spent her childhood and since then the star has come a long way. I wonder how many bows Jojo has these days. A year later, Jojo showed more of her family home in Nebraska when she was home for Thanksgiving. We can see her basement where her family has a bunch of sports memorabilia, a pool table, ping pong table and the usual stuff you'd find in the basement. Jojo's family house looks super humble and average, especially when you see what she's upgraded to since. Of course, with Jojo's fame, she had to relocate to Los Angeles like most celebrities do, and it's where she still lives now. At first, it seemed she was living in an apartment, though. Back in 2015, Jojo gave her subscribers a look into her apartment, which was probably from when she was just starting to make Los Angeles a home. Or that's what I'm thinking anyways. It looked pretty small, but it was probably enough at the time for her and her mom, and Jojo seemed thrilled about her room at least. Her mom had her own room, but clearly Jojo took up most of the space for her own clothes and bows in that apartment. Jojo did say they were only living there for 23 weeks though, so I guess after that they bought a new house. So we know Jojo finished redecorating her first home in 2018 because of course she gave all her followers a tour on her channel. This would have been the first house she purchased and even though her family or at least her mom lived with her, it was obviously Jojo's investment which explains the decoration. Like her face is even on the table. I'm sure her family loved all that. Of course, Jojo also had her own huge merch room in her old place, and you can tell that there was no shortage of Jojo stuff there. She had everything from dolls to scooters to soap to bows, obviously. Looking at Jojo's old kitchen, you can see the start of her 7-Eleven snack obsession with that nacho machine. You'll see what I mean when we look at her new house in just a sec. The living room in the house is no different, and there's Jojo stuff everywhere and a ton of pink. She also had the office on the main floor, which was still under renovation at the time, as well as some candy machines. Jojo's room in this house got its own separate tour, and I think she's pretty tall, so my first thought was wondering if that bed was too small for her. Anyway, she has a bunch of glitter, lights, and colors in her room, which is probably every little girl's dream. Not to mention, a ton of Jojo bows are displayed, and there are unicorns everywhere. I wonder if she got another bunk bed in her new house. I guess we'll just have to see. Jojo also had a hidden TV, a large walk-in closet, and full vanity in her old room, not to mention an ensuite bathroom. 
But after what seems like only a year or so, Jojo decided to say goodbye to this house and moved on to something bigger and better. At the end of 2019, Jojo announced that she was moving. But what better time than the start of a new decade? So new year, new mansion for Jojo. Clearly Jojo is paying for this real estate just like the last house because although she's still a kid and makes it clear her family's moving in with her, the entire home looks like it's all her. I don't know if I could handle that no matter how big and beautiful the actual house is. Like I mentioned, Jojo's information is kept very private, but if any of you guys know how much she paid for this mansion or the square footage, be sure to let me know down in the comments. We do know she's still living in Cali though, and I'm guessing she's close to Hollywood. Jojo said at one point in her vlog, one thing that I actually love about this house is it has like an actual yard. Like most houses in California don't have any outdoor space because they're all really close together. Because there's a lot of land, but everybody wants the land. So I guess that means she's like happy with her backyard. Walking in the house, the first thing you can see is the giant open entryway and winding staircase, which looks like a typical LA dream mansion. Of course, we see the Jojo outfit mannequins as well and her piano. Then there's the fun room. This is where Jojo has her fully stocked candy bar and what has now become an entire 7-Eleven spread with the nacho machine, slushy machines, and more. Looks like they'll be doing a lot of healthy eating in this house. Once once again, we don't get to see the mysterious office where her mother probably hides and works. Then Jojo shows us what is supposed to be a guest room that isn't finished yet, but looks to me like there's just more Jojo stuff in there. And if you remember the merch room from her last house, this one is something else. With all the Jojo merch that they're pushing, this room looks more like a target. Then Jojo shows us the pantry which is full of more nutritious snacks such as instant noodles. At least the fridge is massive and it looks like there's a lot of healthy water in there. Jojo's downstairs of the house also has a custom pool table, her claw machine, a gumball and candy dispensers, and of course a big fancy dining room. Of course there's a living room but it's not quite set up yet, but there are glass doors leading outside and you can tell it gets a lot of natural light. Jojo didn't show the entire upstairs but she gave an idea of what rooms are up there and she said there was her mom's room and bathroom, her brother's room, her laundry room, and two more rooms that were both hers. Jojo did of course give a tour of her new room though. The first thing I noticed is that it's a lot bigger than her her old room and even her bed looks like it's a better size. No more bunk beds either, clearly. Jojo has a huge wall decked out with photos from touring, one walk-in closet that she calls her regular closet, her vanity, and her ensuite bathroom. Of course, Jojo has more bow walls in her new bedrooms and lots of colors too. She gave a glimpse into another fun room in her new house, but she also said it wasn't finished yet. In here we can see albums all over the wall like Queen and Michael Jackson, as well as a huge cutout of Jojo herself. No surprise there. The walkout bell balcony is attached to this room which probably has a great view of the hills and Jojo has her second closet in here that she calls her rockstar closet. Outside of the mansion, Jojo has a full basketball court that also turns into a volleyball or tennis court, a bunch of fruit trees and of course a pool. And the patio furniture even matches Jojo's outfit. She also has a foosball table and a ping pong table. If you want to know a secret, I actually can't play ping pong. So although we don't know the exact size of it or the price Jojo spent on her new LA mansion, I assume it costs her at least a few million. We did get to see most of the house though and it looks like it's pretty huge and a definite upgrade from her last one. My guess is that as Jojo gets older and eventually moves out on her own, she'll invest in some more real estate without her family living there. But for now she's only 16 and it doesn't really matter because the mansion is clearly decorated in all of her taste anyways. After seeing Jojo's new house, what did you think? Over the top or would you do the same if you were her? Let me know in the comments. I've also been thinking I'm thinking that since it's a new year and all, I want to show you guys more of my life too if you're interested. I'm thinking of posting on the YouTube stories more like maybe even a mini house tour of our place. I mean, it's not as epic as JoJo's, that's for sure. But if there's anything you guys want to see, definitely let me know and stay tuned. I also love all you guys and have been enjoying the video suggestions, so keep them coming. That being said, now I'll read out some comments from our previous vids. On our recent Beyonce and Jay-Z house tour, Rico C. Suave said, This def a nice mansion for 88 mil, but I think mama's house is the dopest, lol. Honestly, I really like the house Beyonce bought for her mom too, and I like the Hamptons house. Their family home is a bit too modern for me. On the same vid, Shima Darius said, I like the LA mansion because it's a big family mansion and can you please do Chris Brown's house? Definitely enough room for Beyonce and Jay-Z's whole family in that place and then some. And I will be doing a Chris Brown house tour 
for really soon, so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. We also got some more comments requesting Chris Brown's house, as well as Diddy's and Jennifer Lopez, so I'm loving all the ideas. Thank you guys. All right, guys, that's all I could find on JoJo Siwa's new mansion in California. According to her, they're still getting settled in, so I'm sure that means there are more vlogs to come of the new place. Be sure to let me know what you guys think of JoJo's homes in the comments, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more, and I'll see you next time with some more videos. Bye!